Let me take a look at what do you got I pull into the speculation station a lot Speculation station So Station podcast. Welcome to all you speculateers out there. That's what I'm calling you now. Yeah, and together we shall speculateer about an object. <gasps> I thought speculateer would be the noun, perhaps not the verb as ah, well. Everything. Okay. Okay. I'm speculateer, speculateer, speculateer. Yeah, and I'm the interrogateer. <laughs> That's a good one, actually. Yes, I'm Will. And I'm Tom. Every week, we and one of us. <laughs> I'm not going to do it like word by word. <laughs> Every week, one of us brings in an mystery object which we use to tell a story about anything we want. Fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> High five. Okay. Okay. Very that's, simple. That's how in tune we are, by the way. We finish each other's sentences. sandwiches. So, sentences. Sentences, yeah. Sentences, yeah. Okay. And then have sex. Well, let's let's ado no further, and I shall close my eyes. Slip those eyes closed. Oh, I want you to... Slip them closed. <laughs> it's horrible. Prepare both hands. Okay. I put them as fists. I mean, open the, your fist. In fact, open one fist. Remove one hand. Uh, open it the other way, face up, face up fist, okay. <laughs> clasp your fist. Oh, what's that? Okay, it's a wooden prop <laughs> spanner. Yes! Right? <laughs> it's very specific, but I wouldn't have guessed that unless I'd seen you have it in the possession of a wooden prop spanner. From whence came the wooden prop spanner? Uh, many years ago, it was a uh, used as a mugging tool in some kind of scene. Okay. Uh, in a in a play I did. Do Americans call this a spanner, or do they call it a wrench? They might call that a wrench. I okay. don't know. Yeah. What do you call this, Americans? What magic well, item? Spanner is actually, we'd probably call that a wrench. Uh, but a wrench is usually when you have a little screw. Well, that's to a tar- monkey wrench to tighten I it. I think. But there's also no. I think monkey wrench is something different. What does spanner mean also in British English? What is a spanner? Oh, an idiot. You're like an idiot person. Yeah, yeah. you spanner. You total spanner. It's like low level insult. You okay. Could, you could call it said in school without getting in trouble. I want to press you. What, what, what does the spanner, the giant comedy wooden spanner, MDF actually? It makes me think of my time in the theatre myself. We're both from a theatrical background essentially. Okay. I loved being part of theatre productions at school. There's a wonderful energy yeah. and atmosphere being part of that. So mm. a, a play. The play's the thing. Like a Wes Anderson movie. There's got to be a play. Okay. A play within a play? Ah, oh, now we're getting wanky. <laughs> yeah. Just a play, a play within a story. Yeah, okay, a play within a story within a play within a story. Yes. Okay. No, let's take it, take it back a few minutes. <laughs> we're not doing Birdman. Okay. Ah, oh, Birdman. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what kind of story might be, might be told in a theatre? Murder mystery. Okay, ooh, I immediately like murder mystery. Yeah, okay. Yeah. With an Hercule Poirot style investigator. Hercule Poirot. Okay, so... What is the theatre? Is it? A, I'm immediately, immediately. Is it a successful theatre or is it a struggling theatre? So we got a theatre anyway. Struggling. Struggling. Tiny struggling, but very. Is it a theatre troupe or is it a location? Well, that's a good question. I think both the theatre troupe and their little rundown theatre in theater. a very historic London location. Troupe, yeah. So yes, it's a theatre troupe. Okay. Uh, historic London location. So is is it is it in the West End? Like Leicester Square or something? Yes, it's but a, it's one of the lesser known theatres, maybe down a little back alley. Yeah, yeah, it's like a corner theatre, yeah. Yeah, and every, all, the, all the... Oh, yes. The uh, the thumbnail theatre, right? Oh, yes. The thumbnail. And who runs it? Who 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 started this theatre? Dame Catalee Wedgwood. Catalee Wedgwood. I don't feel she's the main character. I think she's longer. No, 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 just a kind of... Uh, She's long Patron, dead. Patron, you know. I think long dead, I would say. Oh, right, okay, so she was the founder, yeah. Okay. They, they remember her, you know, yeah. Catalee Wedgwood. So who runs the theatre now, and this is the... Per- I think it's a kind of co- theatre cooperative. They're a kind of cooperative group. Oh, no. They run the, yeah, right, they're a bit of a commune, run the theatre, and okay. they make the plays, run the productions, do the lights, make the tea. Yes. And they're trying to bring this little theatre back from the brink of bankruptcy. And ex- obscurity. Oh, yeah, th- th- that's the obvious thing. And it's doing desperately terribly. It's hemorrhaging money because yeah. maybe they keep having buying expensive sets and stuff like that that they literally can't afford. Or they put on lavish productions so, that no one comes to see. Yeah, yeah, in massive debt for lavish productions. Lavish productions. Poorly attended. Yeah, that are poorly attended. Okay. And 
uh, the may the, of course. So let's think about who who are the troops. So you've got to have the main actor. Oh yeah, right. Who really the thinks they're amazing, but are actually terrible, right? Yeah. So may, this could be the main character potentially, or it's the or it's kind of the antagonist. It depends. So who is the main actor? Yes. Is he from you know noble birth? Oh, I, I think he's, he's got a fake name, an ah. actor name that sounds like it's from noble birth, but actually is not at all. He's actually probably like, from or, a councillor, so... Yeah, probably, possibly. Okay. It doesn't matter okay. where he's from, really. Um, I'm leaning... Is something Jeremy? I was thinking John, so Jeremy's better, because it's, it's wonderful. Jeremy. Jeremy Double Banthold. barreled. Actually, not allowed double barreled in... in well, uh, no, I don't think you should have double barreled. In, in... What's it called? What do you have to apply to to become... Oh! Equity. Equity, yeah. Yeah, I don't equity. think you're allowed it. Uh, you say Jeremy Bentham, famous philosopher. Yeah, not Jeremy Bentham, nor 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 Corbo, uh, nor nor Clarkson. <laughs> Who would you rather have dinner with, Jeremy Corbyn or Jeremy Clarkson? Oh, fuck neither of them. I mean, to be honest, these Clarkson days, would at least be entertaining. He but, would be entertaining, but yeah. he'd be a wanker. He is. A, he's kind of a narrow-minded but racist, and Corbyn is a narrow-minded idiot. racist as well. He is well anti-Semite. Yeah, yeah. Yes, allegedly, allegedly, Oof. and just wet. Oof. Anyway, the speculation station lawyers are uh, breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> <laughs> They're under the table. It's okay, <laughs> lads. It's okay. The big law team. Anyway, Jeremy Clarkson <laughs> slash Corbyn. We can't tell the difference by the day, by the way between the two of them. Yes, it's one of them. So we've got the Jeremy. Party. This guy. Who, by his name, apparently, we don't like. Broad something. Oh, Broadworth. Like Broad... Broadbent, obviously. Yes, exactly. Broadshaft. No, kind of shaft. <laughs> Broadshaft! <laughs> Broadshank. Broadshank, love it, yes, because shank sounds kind of ancient. Jeremy Broadshank. Yeah. Uh, and he's Actor the... extraordinaire. Main... Yeah, I like that. Actor extraordinaire. How he describes himself. And he's like, I'm classically trained, don't you know? Mm. And he's the one who's just been pushing the theatre to do bigger and bigger productions. Yes. And maybe the rest of the troupe are more like your class, not classic, but just you're chilled kind of, out. There's a few chilled they've out. They've come actors. from like community theatre groups, yeah. you know, uh, local school theatre, that kind of thing. And so uh, I feel like, so we've got Jeremy uh, Broadshank. Um, I feel like we need. Um, the kind of the maitre d uh, of the of the troupe as well, uh, who are by maitre d? <laughs> do you mean like a, a mother figure? Kind of, yeah, because troops tend to have uh, acting troops tend to have a mother figure and uh, mm. a, a father figure. She, she's the one who plays all the old women, all the yes. older women, right? He's the one who plays. So actor extraordinaire. He's the one who plays all the dramatic roles, all the heroes. Not necessarily the heroes, no. Oh, okay. All the, the, all, all the, the roles, most dramatic roles. The most dramatic roles that aren't. Ne- so he'll play the tragic leads, of course. Yeah. Yeah, but he won't play the young love interest. Okay. He's, he knows that. He's, he, so we need the sort of the matriarchal, the maitre d' okay. style figure. Just as a quick small side character note, I like the idea that maybe he, he went off to Hollywood for a couple of months <sighs> to try and make it and then came back with his tail between yeah. his legs. So failed to make it in Hollywood. Yes. For like a month. <laughs> didn't, couldn't, couldn't hack it didn't before, try, beyond yeah. that. Yeah, didn't try beyond that. So a matriarchal figure. She has to be... Someone who has been in every production eventually uh, in she's every been in the theater. Bill, you know, obviously. Oh yes, I mean they've all probably been in the bill. What's the bill for foreign audiences? The bill is a is a police soap. Was. soap is it Quentin? Oh, I is think it's still going, as far as I'm aware. It doesn't matter. It's the most famous police based soap opera in the UK, and almost every British actor and actress actress and passed talking through it. Ones in theatre and television. Almost everyone has gone yeah, through it. It's like a basic rite of passage for British actors. Yes, yeah. that's a good way of putting it. Rite of passage. Okay, so this lady's been through all of those rites of so, passage. Yeah, I think she's probably quite a good actress, mm-hmm. right? You know, in terms of she's got presence. You know, mm, Malady or Malamy or something. You know, I like Malady. Malady. Because she's made up this name herself, right? Like yes. they all have. Melody Crutch. No, uh, ma- Melody. no, no that's, that's too... Mm, it's got to sound, sound actually grandeur a little but bit. But also a bit f- soft and fuzzy, right? Yeah. Like uh, Serenthrop. Blepworth. No, no, these are both... <laughs> <they're> awful. <laughs> <laughs> they're both bad. The, the, the P sound is wrong. That's, that's what's wrong there. So let's go with... Uh, Melody cr- Cool key. Cool. Cool whip. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. Cool days. Melody cool days. That's <laughs> wicked and awful at the Isn't same bizarre. time. Yeah. So Melody cool days. Okay. So uh, and so she's a you know experienced 
but jaded actress. Okay, yeah, I like that. She's a bit jaded. Uh, actress, Saki. So she's, she's always kind of the sarcastic. So he takes everything deadly. So Jeremy Broadshank yeah. takes everything deadly seriously. And she thinks everything's kind of a bit foolish. And she's a Saki, Saki fuck. Everything's joke worthy. Saki fuck. Yeah. Yeah, she has no respect for the, the theatrical establishment in London. Fantastic. Yep. Okay, so let's... So the, the, the so let's I, I'd like to get us five members of cast. Is Jeremy our hero or is he our antagonist? Not necessarily. Let's okay, let's get good. the whole let's get the whole troop. Let's get well. There's the main guys at least. Yeah, a five person yeah. troop. Okay. Okay. And um, we could maybe include. I don't know whether we include. Uh, we. I feel like maybe one of the troop could be the the tech person. Yes, that's good. It reminds me of. Um, have you ever seen any of the the play that goes wrong productions? Yeah. The play that goes wrong, Peter Pan goes wrong, Christmas Carol goes wrong. Um, they're, a, they're a troupe who do comedy plays like the, that literally go wrong in funny ways. Mm. But one of their troupe is, is the tech guy. So it's a nice, it's a nice idea. It's a nice, nice troupe. So let's get the tech troupe, 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 troupe. Tech guy in. Who is the tech guy or gal, obviously? Um, I like a, a, kind of an, a kind of surly, aggressive tech gal. Okay, tech gal, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, dry. Sally. Sally Packwith. Uh, no. It's got to be... I like Sally Pack. Just Sally Pack. Sally Pack. Yeah. So S-Pack, Sal Pack, Sapack. So she's just called Sal. Sal. Or, uh-huh. the, or the Packer. <laughs> Don't grim your face about that. <laughs> okay, so Sally the Packer. Okay. Yeah, Sal. Yeah, okay. Uh, so she's dry. I think like the... Uh, like Malady Cool Days, the matriarch, you said there's often like a patriarch as well. So let's have an, an old, washed up, Male actor, right? Isn't that Jeremy Broadshank, kind of? No, he's young upstart. Oh, okay, yeah. Right. Shall we have... Uh, uh, always drunk. Oh, yes, okay, yeah, so... He's yeah. always talking about famous names that he worked with. So he's, he's kind of a little bit of a... Um, Can Alec Guinness? Alec Guinness is a good... Yeah. He's the other guy who was in Gladiator. Yeah, Oliver Reed. Oliver Reed, yeah, yes. he's very much an Oliver yes. Reed. Do it right, darling, everything will be okay. On the, all right, on the night. Like uh, Robert Shaw in Jaws, who was famously <laughs> drunk. Don't with worry. Tits. And he's one of those actors who's completely pissed until they're on stage. And yes, then they switch, yes. And then they're suddenly like. Get present. Their... They're very present, yes. Yeah, yeah, which is amazing. So, yeah. Drunk, leery. Dominic. Older actor. I like Dominic. Dominic Black Wedge. Dominic. I like Dominic. Okay, but. Buckstuckle. Re. Dunstable. Rethal. That's his second name, Black Wedge. Dominic Rethel Blackwood, love it. Yes, Dom. Drunk no, no, to Dom as his, his friends. Actor. Um, uh, it's extremely gay. <laughs> I mean, you don't get old in the theatre without becoming or being extremely gay. <laughs> in a good you way. You can be as straight yeah. as you want, but eventually you're going to be gay. Yeah, um, but you know, I think it's just a nice dude, but just well washed up. You know, like absolutely lovely dude, but completely out. Knows of it. he's past his best days. Yeah, pro- probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we like this guy. Okay, so who's the final actor? So we probably need a, we need a, a lady, young, a young, young lady, lady actor. Lady. Yes, per- definitely. Who plays all the female leads? So okay. who's she? What a a, we- a name with weight and power, magic, mystery. Janet. <laughs> <laughs> Janet. Hello, I'm Janet. I'm an actress. <laughs> um, something stronger. Mm. Ch- d- k- p- p- Penelope. Oh, Penelope, there you go. Pit stop. <laughs> <laughs> Penelope. Um, I mean, I'm getting Penworth, but. Penelope, something worth, something worth, or pen something, but not both. Ripworth. Penrip. Penelope Penrip. Yep, love it. It's ridiculous. Uh, rip with two P's and an E. Yep, Penrip. Uh, Penrip. <laughs> uh, she is obviously entirely opposed to Jeremy Broadshank. Uh, yeah, so yeah, hates George. She's from a modern, the modern school of acting, where it's about. She's a method actor. Yeah, modern method. Method actor. Modern method actor. Love it. So she, so she takes everything deadly seriously. Yeah, but then surely so does Jeremy. But I guess from different yeah, angles. Completely. He he thinks he's a fantastic actor. Whereas she thinks she's you know, like she like just, Daniel Day fucking Lewis. Like Daniel like, from- I'm going to be the character all day long. Yeah, method actor is always you know always in character, never has a. F- doesn't overplay anything. Underplays continue. Underplays yeah, everything. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so Stoicism. we got our troop. Okay. Okay, who gets killed? <laughs> yes, great. And why? Dom Dominic. 
Dominic Reefle Black Wedge. Why is I think I bet he's old and dies. It doesn't matter if he dies. There's gotta be some <laughs> That's horrible. It doesn't matter if he dies. But do you know what I mean? He's gonna die anyway soon. I feel I feel like it should be someone with a bit more stake to it. I mean it could be weirdly the techie. Or it's Broadshank who gets murdered. Yeah, Broadshank is more interesting. But if Broadshank doesn't get but the thing about Broadshank is there's a lot of stupid interesting drama fun to be had, about yeah. him being stupid and pathetic. Maybe it's someone who's not in this group who dies, right? Unless it is the founder who is yes, killed. Yes, Dame... Dame Catalie Wedgwood. <laughs> yes. Wait, we've used... Have we used Wedgwood twice? No, you're thinking Black Wedge. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we're being derivative in a, in a less subtle way. Okay. So Dame... Catalie Wedgwood. Dame Catalie Wedgwood. Of the Wedgwood. Thumbnail Theatre. Of the Thumbnail Theatre. Yes, she is killed. And even though she's old, you know, a death is a death. A murder is a murder. She's the patron of the theatre. Her death is important. Who has done it and why? Who is going to go on the quest to investigate this, you know? Well, I think, well, I think basically the troop has to sort of come together to investigate the murder. But also to put on, I think at the oh, same no, time. no, 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 no. We do it like Inspector Calls. I hate to say it. Okay. I hate Inspector Calls, yeah. but... But, it's been seen a million times. Yeah. Uh, but the idea is there's a murder, the inspector comes, right? And the inspector's the main character, the character we follow, yeah. and these are all the the murder mystery stuff. Yes. So we have our Poirot or Miss Marple figure. And in the background, all the time, all the while this is going on, the troop is preparing for the last big performance that may save the theatre. If it goes well, the theatre's saved and they continue working. Yeah. If it goes poorly, the theatre's gone and they're going to have to find work somewhere exactly. else. Exactly, yeah. So it's a nice, interesting So let's difference. talk about our investigator. Yes. So this is our, this is our protagonist now. And Inspector it's like a, somebody. Uh, so is it a police person? Well, well, that depends, because obviously the police could say it's an open and shut case, died of old age or I something think, natural. I think for ease, let's make it a police person or a... Yes. A D, what, what do you call it? We don't say DI in the UK. What, what is D- it? DCI. DCI, yeah. Detective Chief Inspectors, yeah. Yeah, that's dick. Yeah. <laughs> DIC is dick. Yes, that's what I said, yeah, DIC. Yeah. Detective Inspector Chief. D-I-C-K. <laughs> the Detective <laughs> Intendant of Chief Knocking. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Shush your brain, Will. So, te- yeah, police detective, sure. Okay. Yeah. So we've got a police detective. So police detective. Who has to kind of... Or is it more Sherlock Holmes or Miss Marple or Prara star figure where they're a non-standard investigator? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, the police have almost opened and shut the case and it's Or is done. it Quincy? And, oh, no, I hate, I hate doctor, doctor detectives. Pisses me off. As long as it's not Murder, She Road. Yeah. I'm going to investigate this crime scene. I'm an old lady author. Let me in here. <sighs> I'll talk to the suspects, why not? No, fuck uh, that. So we just have a police person, yeah? Yeah, okay. Sim- let's keep it simple for ourselves indeed, yeah. So. Detective Chackles Wackworth. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> I like, wha- not Wack, we've had a Worth name I already. know, I know. It's very. It's my go-to. So Chackles I don't mind as a surname. Oh, then. no. <laughs> well, Chackles is a surname better than a first name, yeah. Yeah. Henry. Henry Chackles. Yeah, Detective Henry Chackles. Henry Booth Chackles. No. We've okay. got enough no. double <laughs> barreling, okay. <laughs> you, but it adds, I know you're posh. It adds right? spice. Not everyone has double barrel names, you know. Oh yes, uh. Micklewith, Mike with, <laughs> Smythe Smothings. Ah, uh, oh, Dottington Pwith, Gold Silverstein. Ah, oh, that's very, uh, that's very American. That one. True. Yes. All right. Anyway, so Detective Henry Chackles. Yes. So the murder has happened. How does the murder occur? Does it happens during a play? Right? How, how is that? Ooh. Right. That, that's a bit of a classic one that has been used a lot, though. Well, how else is it going to happen in the theatre? What's the or it's just before opening night backstage, right? Mm. Or because if, if we want a story in which in the background they are preparing for a new play, the last thing that can save them, then perhaps it's the closing night of their last play, right? Yeah. And she's murdered um, uh, as the curtains close. There's a scream. Well, what? Yeah, but from the audience. Where is she? Where is this, uh, this, this owner? That's what I'm saying. It's her screaming, you the know, dame. somewhere in the, in the back, in the, uh, what they call it. The, the wings? The wings, thank you, yeah. So she's in the wings because she's always in the wings, right? She's watching their last night's yeah, performance, yeah, okay. you know, the, last, the, the yeah, previous Yeah, that makes play. sense, yeah, I'm okay. with that. And she, uh, how, would, how does she die? Or at least how is she found? Like... Caught up in some... In some some, some theatre machine. <laughs> yes, caught up in some theatre machine. Get in the theatre machine! <laughs> yes. So, yes, uh, dies in a theatre machine. Well, like the like the, uh, the cogs that, you know, uh, pull the curtains pull the, back go, And remember... The, 
because of Jeremy Broadshank, the uh, uh, pushing pushing his uh, vision for the theatre. Yeah, it is ridiculously expensive, complicated, oh. like revolving. Yeah, pulleys for for people for putting people and on she, wires, and she's crushed. Crushed, yeah. Cr- crushed to death in the cog work of this complicated Love revolving it. set. Yeah. What was the play that we're doing? Good question. Um, the play with no name. No, I honestly think... It's, like, let, let's go Shakespeare, right? Oh. So let's make it one of those crass modern interpretations... Macbeth. Of, yeah, of Macbeth, but Set on a tropical island. Set on a tropical island during... Um, some famous event... Oh, yes. Um, what's ever happened on a tropical island? Uh, let, let, let's set it like on uh, a particular tropical island. Let's set it on... Um, uh, How about, like, Lost? It's a plane crash on a tropical island. And oh, yeah, yeah. Macbeth is, is meted Some, out. Somehow they have Macbeth. Yeah, exactly. But they so, always yeah. find a way of... So, yeah, they, they were doing Macbeth. Great. And, 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 and for some reason, there was a massive revolving set that involved that turned between parts of the island and ships and turn into a volcano and all this crap. Okay, love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this ridiculous stuff. All this stuff Jeremy's insisted on having in the yeah, theatre. Yeah, and it's cost them like thousands and thousands yeah, and thousands of yeah, pounds okay. to make. So, uh, so Catalee is found crushed in the yeah, theatre machinery. Yeah, so crushed uh, in the machinery. Basically in the uh, complex set. Yes, that's it. Yeah, the set turns. Okay, so basically they come in and um, Detective Henry Shekels immediately uh, invest- starts investigating. The first person to be questioned, I would say, is probably Sally Pack, who controls the set. Obviously, yes, all that machinery. Yeah, yeah. and... All the other ones were on stage. And she said, there's nothing could have gone wrong with my set. My set works perfectly. I keep a tight set. Yeah, I keep a tight set. And she, I mean, she does, she generally does. She makes sure everything works. And the detective investigates and immediately is like, she, there's no way she could have walked into here by accident. Yeah. It's a fucking murder. Yeah, right, right away, it's a fucking murder. And I like it, the, the detect- place is flooded with police. Yes, I like the detectives to delve into each of these people. So yes. start with Sally Pack, right? So the they tech- interviews each of these people. So interviews start- her, yeah, and she's like, "I am a you know award winning tech." So he's like, "Well, then why are you working here? If you're so good at your job, so good that you'd never let someone be killed in your machinery, how come you're working at this shit pile?" So what is Sally Pack's? Background. Why is she here? Is she running for something? Running to something? Mm. Bored of something? Excited by something? What's keeping her in this little tiny shit end theatre that might die any moment? Well, principles? Artistic principles? Perhaps she made a promise. Oh, to Catalie Wedgworth. Right? Love that. Or you know, she was a uh, she was married to her uh, her Catalie Wedgworth's son. son or daughter. You know, whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah daughter yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't really matter. So yeah, I like something like that where she's just doing it out of obligation. Yeah, you know, she feels she should because like, been please, like a mother with to your her. skills, help us run this theatre. Yeah, we need it. yeah. You know to make it, and and uh, maybe she knew Jeremy, Jeremy Broadshank from you know university or mm. something like that. Or a previous production. Yeah. yeah. He probably called himself Jeremy Broadshank by the way to make him think he was like Broadbank, Broadbend. Yes. Because he probably loves Broadbend. Yeah. So Sally Pack interviewed kind of some understanding of but who she I is. I think she's incredibly taciturn and just says, look, my shit doesn't break. Yeah. You can think anything you want, but that's yeah, a simple Honestly, fact. like, it sucks. I really, you know, I'm married. Her son, daughter, son, yeah, and, and I love her. We've got like a great mother, life, but... you know. I was doing this as a favour to her. Yeah. And then he's like, why does he suspect her? Yes. What's... She wanted out of the theatre. She wanted a better job and out of the obligation. Yes, so with her gone, she doesn't that's feel that obligation. Motive. Everyone needs a motive. Ab- oh, absolutely. That's classic murder mystery. Yes. Uh, so uh, let's move on. Penelope... Pen- P- so Penelope Penrip. Penrip. Okay, which is the young... Uh, the young female actress. The yeah. young female actress. So how does she react to the questioning? Ooh, obviously very upset. Uh, she's a bit... Maybe slightly... Oh, she, slightly overdoes, diva- the, oh, diva- overdoes the crying. Yes. Oh, quite. yes. Oh! I would never see harm yeah. come to her, yeah. How could I ever hurt someone who created such art? Yeah, and obviously the detective can see through that to know like she's putting it on. Okay. But not to say that she's done it as okay. much as she's obviously Clearly bullshitting. A, a dramatic idiot. Yeah. Uh, clearly bullshitting, that's what we get yeah, out of her. Putting, but putting it on. Uh, no obvious motive immediately. Ah, excellent. Yes, yeah, so the, yeah, the, the suspicion is on the fact that she's obviously bullshitting, but we don't have a motivation, I like that. Yeah. Okay, so that's that interview done. So, to Dominic Rethel Blackwedge. <laughs> in my day. Well, back in my day, we used to act. Not Oliver Reed and I gave each other hand jobs. What are these movies about these days? What are these movies? They've been around. No, we've been on theatre since the beginning. 
I would never take a movie job. No, no. That's Young not Jeremy true. went to Hollywood, no, but he came no, back. No, he we knew. want the true performance. The it's, true art. This is Lyle. Okay, yeah, what's his reaction? Um, I think he just tells loads of theatre stories. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> it's just, it's, just like it's not the first time someone has died within these fine walls. Yes, it's. And literally, of course, maybe the first. <laughs> You'll remember Markswood such and such who died uh, yes, in Yes, not some stories about the actual building there is. Yeah, in. that's it, yes. Right, about but the history of the building. We need a motivation. Maybe, ooh, maybe he's, maybe he's camp and lovey, but he's not gay, and he really mm. wanted to get with Cataly, and she rejected him, she spurred him, right? Oh, okay, so you, you find out he's... He's secretly straight. <laughs> yes, that's, that's it, he's closet, closet <laughs> heterosexual. <laughs> secretly straight. Chasing Cataly, but those straight men, what will they do to yes. chase pussy? Right, uh, but she she rejected him, yeah, yeah. Love that, okay, yeah. Next up, it's uh, Malady Cool Days. That's a fucking wicked name, <laughs> it's so dumb, but I love it, yeah. Uh, and of course, it, she, she's an experienced jaded actress, suck as fuck, so yeah. So her response is obviously like. Just flippant, very flippant, yeah. very irreverent to the yeah, whole thing. And what does Chackles make of all this? Um, well, it depends what he thinks her motivation is. So, yeah, what is it? So she's, she's very psychic. What does, he, what does he read from there? What does he get from her? Oh, that she's obviously, you know, uh, what's the word? He's a cop, man. He's a cop. Okay. Yeah, what's the word for when you're trying to... Def- she's, you know, she's deflecting. deflecting, right? She's deflecting, deflecting. yeah. Feels like she's deflecting. Uh, uh, she's hiding something, right? But you yeah. can't work out what. So, okay, she's hiding something. Why is a good... Again, why is it? Something. Why is she here? That's his question. Why is she here? Why does he think she? Well, he asked her that question. Why, as someone with your experience yes. in this rundown theatre, a bit, bit of a national treasure. So why is yeah. she here? Good question. Yes, that's a very good question. So I don't want to go love triangle, but she could be into Dominic and was chasing him. No, that's that's awful. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but she's old. She's old. Remember. Well, so so is Dominic. She's, yeah. Well, what I mean is. She probably doesn't even care about that that love so I don't I don't buy the love the love thing for her. Maybe she's become you said she's jaded, right? So she's become jaded in terms of the whole theatre process. Oh, she hates the whole theatre process. She's she got to go somewhere where ah, she's just doing it because she has to do. That's the only job she knows. Exactly, she, acting is her life. But she, if she can do it in a small theatre where no one will get on her fucking tits, yeah. that's where she'd rather do it than a big theatre where. And she just got shops out her performances. They're, all, they're better than anybody else's. But she still, phones she still it in. just phones it in. You know, she's, lovely. Yeah, okay, so yeah, she's hiding something, uh, but she's she's phoning it in. Uh, so she's got a fairly good like reason not to have done it. Yes. Okay, so finally we come across Jeremy Broadshank. Actor extraordinaire! Uh, listen to me roll in my eyes. I roar! <laughs> Does he stand? Oh, to be! <laughs> Does he stand with incredibly wide legs? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Blackadder. Um, so, first of all, reaction to police interview. Well, terrible. He Also incredibly egotistical. Yeah, so he's basically... He doesn't, never answers any questions about the murder. He's talking about the future of the theatre and what it could have been. We could be the bait with already the best theatre in the world. Now he's worried about the future of the theatre because obviously yeah. Cataly's gone. Yes, yes. But also, why is he here? Obviously, he fell in Hollywood. Because can, nobody else will fucking take literally, him. Literally, he's that. He's awful. terrible. He's a terrible actor. Terrible and a terrible person. Yeah, okay, yeah. So only cares about. He's a bit of a spanner, Success we could say. of the theatre. And he literally says some stupid stuff like. Hey, you know, I wonder who this theatre's going to go to. I should probably get, get in control of the theatre now mm. as the true lead, the actor, the visionary behind it. The actoriest actor, mm. yeah. Check out my Scottish accent. The Scottish play. <laughs> yes, worked well. They, weren't, they were doing the Scottish play. Uh, On a desert island after a plane crash. Got to interpret. You can't just do Shakespeare straight up. You've got to interpret it. Second World War Shakespeare. 
It's Shakespeare, but get this, they're modern oh, bankers in the financial Brexit crisis. Brexit fucking Hamlet. Oh, I bet you somebody has either done that or is working on oh. Brexit Hamlet, Brexit Shakespeare, Brexit yeah. Othello, yeah, right? Or Trump-based Hamlet. Or tr- oh, I yes. know there's been a Trump Julius Caesar done. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. Write a new play about it. Yeah. Anyway... <laughs> Talking of the theatre, uh, yes. So that after the first round of interviews, Detective Detective Henry Shackles goes and Shackles. Wo- Shackles. Shackles. Sh- Shackles. No, ch- Shackles. Fackles. Fuck off, all. That's right. Anyway, I want to hear you say it before we move on. <laughs> Shackles. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Henry Shackles of the Boston Shackles. Yeah. <laughs> goes back to uh, uh, to, the, to the police. Maybe he he he's sort of with his the forensics team you know the police team his partner um his partner's what let's think of a partner that's just got a he's got a partner does he need a partner all police people have partners they not necessarily they do okay pat stokes pat stokes for our most normal name so yes, far yes yes and uh, yes basically uh, a newbie ah okay newbie i like that yeah policeman policewoman mm, i'm guessing okay, nice. with yeah, the name pat, pat, pat i'm guessing unisex. female yeah, um, so Pat, Pat Stokes, basically just talking through the case, basically. So what's, what's Detective Henry Chackles' shtick? <laughs> you know, how does he yeah. investigate cases? Good call, yes. By, by background observation, mm. so that gives good, good reason why he can be in this story while they prepare for the big play they're doing. Oh, that's it. So He watches them dress rehearsal. So Jeremy Broadshank insists that the show must go on! Yes. Right? Otherwise, they'll lose the theatre. So there is kind of good. So they're, they're going to start going. the next. Pl- What's the next play they're doing? Okay, uh, something uh, that someone has written, right? Oh, he's written himself. Oh yes, of course he has. Yeah, of course he has. Right. Yeah, what's, he's what's written he his written? own play. A play about a struggling actor. Oh, right. Like, during Brexit. No, but during some kind of strife, yes, political strife or social strife, yeah. During a civil war. During a strike. During the British Revolution. Yes, just the the British Revolution, whatever that might mean. Or no, or you just do it in uh, you know in the time of um, who's the the British dictator, the only non king of Britain, Ooh. Cromwell. Oh right, during the time of Cromwell, right? Okay, a Cromwell. Era. And he plays Cromwell. <laughs> oh, he doesn't play the struggling actor. You know, that's no, a... I just don't feel like something he'd do for well, me. He I'm wouldn't accept to... that he's struggling. No. <laughs> He would. He wants to play the most dramatic and important roles, sure. and he sees himself as the Cromwell of the theatre, right? Okay, <laughs> Just something like Cromwell. Unless there's something better than Cromwell, um, because he's trying to make it feel Shakespearean. I feel. Yeah. He's trying to make Victorian his... era. Yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. The. Uh... I mean, does it have to be historic? It can be modern. I just don't feel. I'm just trying to get the grandeur in. Yeah. Okay, the grandeur. Ah. But it doesn't have to be Britain at all, then. You know, the Palace of Versailles, the court of, you know, for the French Empire. Okay, yeah, so he... Write like about Robespierre or some shit. Yes, like, yeah. yes. Uh, yes, and he plays Robespierre. Yes. A heroic Robespierre. A man trying to change the country for better. Yeah, and he, he actually believes in Robespierre, that he's good. Oh, know? right, yeah, I like yeah, that, yeah. yeah it's so very it's bit, politically misguided. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of like... He's really, he obviously was into the... He hated the Scarlet Pimpernel. So the Scarlet Pimpernel's the bad guy. Oh, yes. And so maybe he has Dominic Renthal... The old guy play an old Scarlet Pimpernel. Right? Yes, yeah. an old washed up Scarlet Pimpernel trying desperately to overthrow so, Robespierre. So, yeah, that, that, that's the play that must go on. And so, what, what, what? How are they? How are they observing the, the? How are the police investigating this as it's happening? As this rehearsal's happening? So every day, the troop are in the theatre. But, so, but obviously, some of it's cordoned off at the moment. At, sure. For the but like they, they probably might have a little rehearsal space upstairs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. You know, they're backstage working on things, that kind of thing. So the police observe them. You know, they sit on, sit in on blocking rehearsals and table script read-throughs and blah, 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 blah. And then comment, and, and Pat Stokes is always like, you know, my mum was really into the theatre and now I can tell you this is a crap play. Yeah, yes, I like that. So Pat, Pat... So they're they, kind of <laughs> policing the creativity as well Well, yeah, but, but Detective Henry's just a hardcore policeman, Yeah, right? but, but Pat Stokes Pat, Pat is Pat Stokes like, is just like a newbie who, ha- you know, whose mum happened to be into the theatre. Yes. You know, who can tell a shit yeah, story just, when she just, sees one? Yeah, and just does little sarky stories at the side. You know, maybe while you know while everything's going on, you know, while while the troop are rehearsing, you know, maybe Henry just interjects every now and then, mm. um, just to ask a quick question, and then they go back to rehearsing. Yeah, so he's okay. always just well, give me an example of a question. Okay, 
I'm trying to think of something that may rise from what what he's seeing being performed in front of him. You know, maybe he sees something about the the, the murder victim. Yeah. Well, I was thinking more one of the suspects. And you know, Jeremy is is a a, a fascist dictator really when it comes to running running the truth. Yeah, absolutely, especially now that Catalyst. Dead. Yeah. So he's very quick to anger, very poor temper. So during rehearsal, when he's shouting at people, and Henry says, um, "Tell me, Mister Broadshank, do you often lose your temper like this? Something like that, where you're commenting on something that's happening, but also implying that that may be a reason why you would murder someone because you're very short-tempered." Mm. Okay. Yeah. Another example might be that um, you know maybe he gets a few of them on their own or a couple of them in pairs, you know, working on a couple of scenes by themselves, and he just kind of interrupts. Says, Can we just talk about blah blah blah? And they're like, oh, just let us get to the end of the scene first. So you can always have both things happening at the same time, the yeah. play and the investigation. I, I like that. I also like him cutting in and asking some of anyone but Jeremy, because I think his kind of early suspicions are on Jeremy. Yeah, of course. He's a fucking psycho. Yeah. Um, he, he simply asks the question, do you usually do plays written by a member of the troupe? Yeah. Or do you usually do famous plays? Is this the first self-written play that the troupe yeah, has ever done? Yeah, sorry if I'm wrong, but, uh, you know, I thought... You usually do Shakespeare, you just Hamlet, Shakespeare, yeah. Harold Pint- Pinter. Pinter, yeah, of course, Pinter, because he doesn't know what you're... Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a red dwarf. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, well, sorry. Mm. We're, well, we're very derivative, that's fine. Okay. Um, anything for Pat Stokes to do while that's going on? Maybe Pat Stokes goes backstage with Sal... And kind of examines the the crime scene, yes. the, the the machinery. Gets Sal to show her how different things work. Asks Sal where she was when it was happening on the night. That kind and, of thing. And so yeah, maybe Pat sort of does a, does the friendly get to know you sort of thing. Yeah, especially she, she, with she, her to Pat. slight theatre background as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, my mum was in the theatre. Yeah, yeah, oh, I really liked. Her. I don't know why she's suddenly Yorkshire, but no, let's, she's let's more go. Mancunian again, like Daphne. From oh yeah, yeah, I get you. What you're saying, yeah, kind of northern. Oh, mother, very nasal for sure. Um, um. But yeah, it was a bit. I, I just, it's not a very good play. And so maybe, and then maybe Detective Henry's just always coming in, like, why are you in a terrible play? Are you sure that this is the kind of play you want to be in? You know, yeah. you keep pressuring and, and pushing. Yeah, pressure the questions point. are very, like, you know, on the nature of art and creativity. Okay, so you know, I want why to are move you in it this? to a point of conflict. Yes. So, how does, what's the first, who's the first arrest? Who do they arrest for, like, serious questioning first? Who's the first person they think you done it? Maybe you don't need to arrest as much as take someone in for questioning. Yeah. At the station more formally. Yeah, for some police... Which is a big step up. From police brutality. Sorry, did you just roll your the non-existent R in police? Did you roll the police. L? Police. Oh, pr- <laughs> pr- 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 roll the P. Police. Police brutality. Roll the L as well. Police. Police. Because that took up about ten seconds. Okay. Podcast song. <laughs> Listen to a couple of idiots roll their the consonants, yeah. They, they cannot possibly be rolled. Would you like a g- grass of whiskey? Uh, risky. Whiskery. <laughs> Whiskery. Yeah. Whiskery. Ricky to rock around. <laughs> we've, got to, we've got to leave it alone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we up to? So, uh, I feel like... Conflict. Now, arrest either, either station. Some, I feel like it's going to be an arrest at the station... Of probably Jeremy. Let's be serious. He's the prime suspect. Yeah, our prime twat. So we bring this twat in for a. That's twat for you Americans. Yeah, nobody in Britain says twat. Just no, to be clear, and we hate you for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's twat. You fat and twat. You emphasise the ah. Anyway, all right. And if you want, don't even pronounce the t on the end. Just twat. Yeah. No, well, let's not go to advanced level British English. Wank up. Okay, so. Uh, so Jer- <laughs> he brings in Jeremy Broadshank for this hardcore interview. They do the good cop, bad cop routine. Yes. Obviously, uh, Detective Henry uh, is uh, the bad cop. So we need to find out something here. So Henry's the protagonist, right? So goal, conflict, disaster. His goal is to question Jeremy, Jeremy and get the right information. Yeah. Conflict is that Jeremy isn't cooperating. Yeah, basically, with- he just won't talk about the case. Yes. He'll only talk about how awesome he is an actor. But within that, something he says... Tells Henry that actually this isn't the guy at all. Yeah. Much as he's an idiot, much as he's deflecting. Yeah, I think this is that, the guy. That's exactly. And at least, and at least I don't suspect him. Yes. And and it might be just to do with the fact that a he does it. Oh, there's another murder while he's in, which is the classic. <laughs> We've done this before, you know. Just pile on the murders. Well, that's how murder mysteries work. Dramatic tension. Yeah. So what? So what? So while he's in, maybe the the, the revelation is that. 
he actually needed Catley in some way. How did Jeremy Broadshank need Catley? Mm, good point, yeah. Very good question. Well, maybe he's... He, she's the only person who'd ever hired him. Good, and yeah. without this theatre... The only one in, in the West End who would hire him and allow him to be a lead and take the lead roles. Yeah. So why would he kill her? Yeah. No one else is going to give me a work. Yeah. And this theatre may well die soon. Yeah, and but, you know, obviously Jeremy Portrank doesn't think it will die. But that's yeah, the, that's that's the, that's the read that Shackles, Shackles gets Thank of you. it. Thank you, yes. Okay, that's a good nice one. Yeah. Okay, so that interview happens. So how does then Henry renew his search then after finding out that it's probably not Jeremy at all? Maybe there's some information from Jeremy that says, ah, this other person is worth questioning. Yeah, or that, 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 that's the disaster. He has no idea where to start if it's not. Yeah, maybe. So Jeremy says, you know, something to the... To the, to the or maybe tone just of... even Jeremy has a perfect alibi as well. Uh, yeah, I prefer... Because he was, was on more... stage during the murder. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. You can always arrange it yourself. Yeah, yeah ex- All the troop were on stage other than Sally. So, and Sally can probably prove that she wasn't right next to it. So that, that's kind oh, of out so of So Sally picture. might be out as well. Yeah, I think it's more... Jeremy says something which tells him there's someone else worth looking at. You know, Jeremy's like, oh, well, I, you know, I went to many interviews in many theatres and Cataly was the greatest pe- person yes, because she was. took me in very quickly, no questions. So he knows that he can't go anywhere else. It's probably not Jeremy, but... What can Jeremy say that in, implicates somebody else? You know, if you really want an enemy of Catholic... Well, do you know who's got the dri- his rivalry? If him and Penelope hate the shit out of each other. Right. Because they act in completely opposite ways, yes. right? And they hate each other's work. Yeah. So he basically just he accuses her. Yeah. I think he just straight up accuses okay. her. Okay. Nice and simple. If you're looking for a cold-hearted murderer, look no further than Penelope Penrip. She comes into the interview chair. Okay. Yeah, so what's been, so she's she's method acting in the interview chair. Her current role. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So what's her current role in the current play? For this new play uh, with uh, Robespierre, right? Mm, yes, Robespierre. Is she a Marie Antoinette type? Oh. You know, a French aristocrat who's losing everything. Oh yeah. So she's play- yeah. She's literally playing effectively Marie Antoinette. Yes. Who is oh everything is falling apart around me. Yes, I am. I am a rich noble woman with so many problems. I can't think about this murder. I like the idea that halfway through the scene, Henry's like, wait, are you, are you method acting the yes! role from the play? It's like, why am I not getting a straight answer? Because, and they, they, they literally have to force, you know, force it, like chuck water on her, force it out of her. Yeah. To sort of, you know, for a moment, she's, she's, she's like, you, you do realise you, you don't need to be acting right now. She doesn't know how to not method act yes. at all times. Yes, because she thinks she'll, she'll lose her credibility. That's yeah. exactly it. She's <laughs> always in character. Yeah, yeah. 24 hours a day, right? Okay. How can we allay suspicion from her then? It's not probably not her. Um, well, perhaps even, um, I think we need some actual alibis. So what kind of alibi could she have? Mm. Obviously she was on stage, but what... What reason does she have for not killing? Or what thing where what it lack be of impossible? motivation? Why oh, would it yes. be impossible for her to do it? Yeah, good question. Because maybe it was the the, the maybe we look at how, how how so she pushed into this crushing machine. That maybe there's a certain weakness, so you needed to be certain high high, high up. Yes, and a this, certain amount of body strength. Yeah. Yeah. So we need someone with a decent amount of body strength. Yeah. And this this is she's very. Slight. Petite and frail. Like Maris. Yes, <laughs> Maris. Uh, uh, so, yeah, so they have the, the interview there, so it's not Penelope. That's the, the, it's impossible for her to have done it. But who does she implicate? Oh, I like that. Yeah, chain of implication. The implication so we, we're, we're kind of left with Dominic, Lethal Blackwedge, and, and Malady Cool, cool Days. days. The, the, the old hands, yeah. yeah. Maybe she implicates both of them. Oh, I like that. Yeah, they want to take over the theatre, is what she's saying. You know, they wanted it oh, from... Um, they wanted Cap- it from themselves, yeah. They, it was just a lie, you know, and really, these two have been sleeping together since the beginning, you know. Yeah, I love like, that, yeah. So that's a little sort of twist we've thrown in. Okay, good. For the mystery. Yeah. So, det- who does he interview first? Dominic Rathel or Malady Cool Days? Malady Cool Days. Brings her in. Okay. Oh, so she's, she's smoking. Through a cigarette holder. Oh, uh, yes, fantastic. <laughs> you know, a cigarette holder that's on another holder, you know, the way Fantastic, they yeah, and not giving a fuck about anything. Yeah, just, and being honest, or apparently honest, at least. Honest, you know, but sarcastic. Sarcastic as fuck. Yeah. 
I remember what I used to do movies. Uh, <laughs> yes, I was once in with Jack Kerouac. Jack Kerouac, <laughs> the famous beat writer. <laughs> <laughs> and a movie actor now as well. <laughs> or the stage and screen actor. <laughs> yes, I once uh, worked with Audrey Hepburn when she was an old lady and I was but young. <laughs> I swept the floor for her. Uh, a little, uh, that's more aloof and sarcastic. I think she needs to be a bit more down to earth, man, okay. in the old days, you know. So rather than a cigarette holder, probably just a fag, just cigarette in her mouth. Like, yeah, whatever. What have you got to ask me? Yeah. So what kind of reason or alibi can she give so that she couldn't have done it? That she and uh, Catley were actually sisters that had fallen out and she'd... So Melody Cordes is her no, stage No, she mate. and Catley were lovers. Okay. Oh, interesting. Right, right, secret lovers. So we have a complex... Okay, okay this is why it's going to make Dominic crazy because obviously he wanted Catley, but yeah. finding out that perhaps... Her lovers. That not only was she not yeah. hetero, but she was having an affair with Melody as well. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, and then they bring in Dominic. Okay. Who is very up in arms about this, very uh, incensed about being brought in and questioned. No, it was never me. I No, I've never done anything. A real criminal. Someone like Oliver Reed, Scallywag. Let me tell you, we were on set in the Namibian desert. (laughs) Yes, yes, yes. And uh, I'm sure he's drinking uh, some brandy at the time, you know, and flaming it. (laughs) Well, he can't be drinking in a police interview. Oh, yeah. (laughs) You can't even been smoking, but we can allow a little bit of artistic license for that. <laughs> but a glass of brandy being <laughs> swilled slowly well, when by... They, when they pick him up, that's what he's doing. <laughs> that's okay. He's doing it all the way to the police station. They're like, <laughs> yeah. oh, wait a minute, you, you can't take that in. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's secretly straight, we know that. So this is where the secretly straightness is uncovered. Yeah. Right? So, uh, I don't know how... Yes, ha- I, I wouldn't have killed Cataly. I loved Cataly. Yeah, you know, right? I was in love with her. I could never kill someone I was in love with. Yes, and maybe he has a, an old faded Polaroid of him and Kathleen in bed together when they once slept together once in a, in a mad yes, yes. panic at some point. Yes, and that, long, long before any of it happened, you know. And, and maybe, it, again, has a stone court. He, again, clearly doesn't have the physical strength to have done what was... That's true, ...done yeah. what happened. So he couldn't have killed either. Yeah. <gasps> and so they get... I've got it. Um, <laughs> this is great. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Detective Henry gathers them all in the theatre, as you have to do. Yes, yes. Uh, for some reason they have to do. Only only yes. happens. Only happens in shows. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So gathers them all in the theatre and goes through the story and goes through each of them in turn, saying yes, why recap, they couldn't have yeah. killed them and why they could have. Killed I see. Them. I originally thought it was you, sir, but so it Idris out. thought it was Broadshank because you're a twat. Okay. Idris thought it was Sally Pack because she had the ability. Yes. Okay. Or. Oh. Thought it was Malady Cool Days because she seems so aloof and uh, You're a jilted lover, yes. Yeah, yeah. Or I thought it was Penelope Penrip because... You know, reasons. She's a... There's no good reason for her. Was uh, it there? No. Oh, because she was bullshitting about everything, basically. Oh, yeah, she was And she was suspicious. method acting all continuously all the time. Yes, yes, gotcha. Yeah, and then and, and Dominic because he had a good motive. Absolutely, yeah, But it was yeah. none of these people because the evidence doesn't back it up. Yeah. Okay, he reveals... That Kathleen killed herself because the theatre was failing. <laughs> I love that. Uh, and maybe she was trying to hang herself yes. in the theatre ropes, but instead yes! got caught in the mechanism, <laughs> yes. right? Which then kind of released and slammed down on top of her. Yeah, I love Slam that. Her, yeah, yeah, and the theatre closes and... Uh, oh, these, is all it a tragedy? People, yeah, all these people are out of their jobs. Ah, oh, that's awesome, though. The that's end. A good one. Yeah, the end. Another handshake. No, we normally handshake after the name is chosen. The death of a theatre. The death of the theatre, which is an allu- allusion to Death of a Salesman, right? One of the most famous stage plays. Yeah, Death of the Theatre. Or, or, or uh, An Inspector Calls uh, is another one we could play on. Uh, yes, um, An Inspector Crawls. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Theatre Calls. No, I prefer... Uh, death of a Little Theatre. Death of a Thumbnail. Oh, death of the thumbnail. Just uh, uh, death of a thumbnail. Thumbnail theatre. It's metaphorical only. Okay, death of a thumbnail. Death of a thumbnail. Now we shake hands again. Shink. Ah, ah! Drink. Clink and drink. Ooh. To the theatre. <laughs> now I hope you all enjoy the theatre. You should go to the theatre. Are you a classically trained actor? <laughs> That's a great question. If not, would you like to be? Do you know any classically trained actors? Do you know any classically trained acts? Yeah, that's a good point. Do you know any theatres? Have you ever been to a theatre? Would you like to? Would you like to act? Could you act? Would you act? Why would you act? What's your favourite play? Have you ever seen a poorly thought out 
modernised production of Shakespeare. Perhaps. It happens a lot. We've seen a lot of them ourselves. Have you seen a good one and you think we're wrong? What's your favourite Shakespeare? Yeah. yeah. Do you like Shakespeare at all? Have you heard of Shakespeare? Do you prefer Christopher Marlowe? Ah, Kit Marlowe. <laughs> Do you think that Shakespeare's plays were actually written by... What's his face? Richard Bacon. Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Kevin Bacon! <laughs> That's exactly it. Do you think Kevin Bacon wrote Shakespeare's plays? Wonderful. Right. As usual, find us on our website, speculationstation.com. Yeah, head over to our on YouTube. Check us out on Google, of course. iTunes, uh, if you yeah, just want the yeah, audio. Yeah, we, Stitcher as well, where all, all the other cool places podcasts are found. Please like, please subscribe. And if you have a way of fleshing out this story to make it better put it in the comments or email us and say, hey, did you ever think of Jeremy Broadshank being a, a Cylon? Yeah, oh hey? my God. He's a Cylon. Or maybe Sally Pack was really the, the final five. Uh, yes. <laughs> they were, in fact, there were five, so maybe they all oh, were the Cylon. final five Cylons. Oh, my God. Anyway. <laughs> Do you remember Battlestar Galactica? I don't. Anyway, subscribe, like us, all that crap. You said that. Have I? Sounds desperate. Okay. <gasps> But please do that. Please do that. We uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're not as desperate as Jeremy Broadshank, I hope. Yeah, he failed in Hollywood, didn't he? Yeah. Okay. We'll see you next time for a new object. Yeah, and a new story. As always, we've been Will and... I've been Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm and I used people. correct pluralness. Oh, we didn't, we didn't use correct words there. <laughs> I'm going to throw a pen at you and we're done. Bye. Bye. Fuck off. Oh. Love you. Love you. There's your stuff accent. Love you. Speculation station.